Hey everyone, it's Minty and I'm going to spill all the tea on how I draw different hair types. I've already sketched out six of these hairless clones and I've used a pretty simple and cute style just so we can focus on the hair. I'm going to dive in right away and start sketching the first example which is pin straight hair and as we move along it will get more and more curly. I like to start off by defining the hairline which is just on top of the circle that I've drawn for the head and making this subtle V shape just to show the parting which in this case is a middle parting. I like to draw hair with a lot of volume even if it's straight so the top of the hair is going to be floating a little bit above the head. I'm drawing the hair falling in front of the ears so what you want to do for that is just draw a line slightly curving down the face and cutting off the edges of the face. If you want to do the hair tucked behind the ears all you have to do is a little swoop to the top of the ears. For the outline of the hair you want to do the exact same thing just a little further out so you have that volume. You can make it closer to the head or even further out if you want more volume but straight hair tends to be a little bit less voluminous than curly hair. Lastly you probably just want to rub out the outline of the head underneath the hair and the ears which shouldn't be showing. I'm also going to show you how to colour the hair and outline it later on in the video but first of all I'm just going to go through all the different hair types and show you the sketches. So let's move on to the second hair type which is slightly more wavy it still could be straight but just a styled version but yeah it's not pin straight this time and there's also a bit of layering there's also curtain bangs so the hair isn't gonna fall straight down it's gonna kind of swoop in slightly and then out a lot a good example of this hair type is probably the one on my profile picture that's kind of what I'm aiming for here I love doing tiny little face framing pieces which are just these little spikes or curves that go towards the face that's pretty easy to do to make this hairstyle not stiff like the straight hair one you want to imagine water flowing down her shoulders and that's the kind of thing we're aiming for here since it's not pin straight i like to draw some tiny pieces of hair just poking out and not following the flow because this is if this is natural then it's not going to be perfect or symmetrical so try to add some little curves going out of the hair you'll see what i mean in a second but yeah that's that for the sketch of this one and now we're starting to move on to some more like definitely wavy slightly curly hair i know that hair types have special names like 1a 2c blah 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 but i don't really know them accurately so don't attack me for that please this time the swoop at the front of the hair is going to be a lot sooner it's not as long as flowy as the one beforehand but it's going to go straight down and out very quickly and the rest of the hair is going to be shaped like that as well it's going to have a similar kind of flow to the last one but the bumps are going to be much closer if that makes sense and we're also going to add more detail Detail. So the other ones I only drew the outline but for this I will tend to draw the curls and waves that are in the hair And again we're going to draw some stray strands coming out of the hair But they're going to be a little bit thinner and more curly That's just how I like to do it I would also recommend covering the face a little bit more with the waves than on the last one But yeah that's it for this sketch And can I just quickly mention how cute the face was on that one But anyways moving on we're going more curly It's quite similar but yeah, just we're traveling further up the curl scale, if that's a thing. Right away, I'm going with more volume for the top and instead of any sort of bangs you just want to draw this kind of spring shape right above the eyebrow that's just what i tend to do and again the bumps are getting more close together on the outline of the hair and we're going to be adding a lot more detail on the inside of the hair obviously you want to have a lot of more curly curved shapes on this but i do like to add some angular shapes as well so if you want to have a little triangular point on the edge of the hair that's just stylization and it does work pretty well so i like to do that as we go along the volume is increasing so I'm just going further away from the face to show that volume again just rub out the lines that you don't want and we'll move on to the next one this time I wanted to get the shape in right away because it's so curly and I just did that lightly and it's very far away from the face again more volume and it's also a little bit shorter you can have very long curly hair but it takes longer to grow out so on average curlier hair will be shorter I'm pretty sure so I just made it slightly shorter for this one i think this hair type is considered slightly more coily i'm not really sure the difference between coily and curly but i made this spring shape so what you want to do is just very small bumps with your pencil close together and i'm not doing that everywhere just every so often to define some of the hair if you did it everywhere it might seem a bit overwhelming but yeah it's similar to the last one but just with these smaller defined curls or coils you also want to be more free with your hand movements because curly hair is a lot more unpredictable than just the pin straight hair at the beginning so yeah don't think too much about it the less you think the better will be if that makes sense i want to show the definition of the curls but i also don't want 
too much line art so i do most of the lining of the curls at the top of the hair and then the rest of it it's a little bit more random and the curls are more extended at the what's it called the hairline um i just do it a lot more densely curled if that makes any sense at all now on to the last hair type which is the curliest that i know how to do i don't know if this is considered 4c or not but i think it's close if there are any curly hair police in the comments please just tone it down a little bit i know i'm probably naming everything wrong but yeah i start off with my overall shape which this time is even shorter because of how curly this is you do your little bumps around the edges it's not as defined as the last one strangely but what we're going to do is add in the tiny little springy curls after you've done this base. So you don't want to add too many of those little springs, but just on the outside, a few on the inside, you don't need too much and it will give you the overall effect of very curly hair. Okay, we've really rushed through this, but hopefully now you know how to draw the sketches of these different hair types. Let me know which of these six is most similar to your type of hair in the comments. Mine is definitely most similar to number two. Now I'm going to show you roughly how I color each type of hair. I color before line art most of the time, so that's what I'm gonna do, but if you don't, just ignore that fact, but I will show the line art after this. Okay, we're back to the first type of hair, which is the pin straight hair, and for this one, I'm just going with my lightest color and coloring the entirety of one side. I'm just doing one side so the markers don't dry out, but you can do both if you want. Then we're gonna take our medium color and shade at the top of the hair, the middle section and the bottom. This is dependent on lighting, but generally this is what I do. Then we're gonna blend that out. It's completely fine if it hasn't blended perfectly because next we're going in with the darkest color and just adding some more definition to the hair. It's okay for it to be a bit streaky this time, especially because it's straight hair and you want to see the fact that it's straight and also the fact that it's hair and not just a block of color. Now that I've done one side, I'm just gonna do the exact same on the other side. If you're worried about blending, you definitely wanna stick to this technique of one side at a time but if you're a quick drawer you can do both at the same time and make sure it's all even but yeah personally this is just what i like to do most of the time when i draw straight hair you can see the back of the hair so just go ahead and use your darkest color to fill in that there's no need to shade it because it will be in the dark for the line art i'm using a brown biro but if you want to use a regular black pen that's fine too this just gives it more of a hairy texture if that makes sense I need to stop saying that phrase, but yeah, I just go around the edges and I add a couple of straight lines going up. It's not too complicated, honestly. You don't even have to do the lines on the inside. But yeah, then after that, I go in with highlights. I use a small white gel pen and I do these dotted sections across the lightest parts of the hair. I also add some lines going down of the white if it's extra silky, but don't go too overboard with that. I gave all the girls a puffer jacket and I colored all of their faces, but I'm not gonna focus on that in this video just because this isn't what it's about. But yeah, that's how I do pin straight hair. And now moving on to the next one, which is the wavy-ish one. I'm doing blonde for this. I'm going to try to do slightly different hair colors for all of them just to add some interest. In contrast to the last one, I didn't color the base of the hair and I just went in with the darkest color. You're going to want to follow the curves of your sketch, not everywhere, but just on the outsides and then also fill in the deepest parts of the hair with your dark color just to show the waves then you're going to want to fill in the rest with your lightest color and you can also have a medium color as well that's what i did honestly i don't think this one requires that much explanation um so i'm just going to speed through it all again it's okay to have streaks because this is hair all of them it's allowed to be streaky not too streaky but some definition is okay with the line art it's pretty simple you just want to follow the lines that you already have or if you can't see the lines anymore because you've used a dark hair color you just want to follow the shading but yeah that's what i did i also added in some extra lines some are lighter as well because there's some more action going on here and i want to see that so unlike the straight hair where there's barely any definition of lines within the hair there's a little bit more here i would recommend following the highlighting advice that i gave for the straight hair version but for this one i got kind of lazy and i just used a fat posca pen and dotted in the highlights it looks a bit less realistic but oh well again i'm just gonna skip through all this random coloring because it's not the focus of the video and i'm also running low on storage okay now we're one third of the way through on to the third one which is our wavy slightly curly 
kind of girl. As usual, just rubbing out the entire sketch so I can actually colour over it. And for this one, we're going with quite a dark hair colour. I think it's the second darkest out of all the ones I did. And for this one, we are going to do a base colour just like the first drawing that I did. You might feel like colouring in the base of this is quite hard because there's all these little nooks and crannies that you need to get into with this hair type. But again, it's fine if it's streaky. Don't overcomplicate it because we are going to blend on top. And for this one, there is quite a lot of line up as well as the fact that it's a dark hair color so you're not going to see those streaks this time the shading isn't as simple but that doesn't mean it's not easy because you just get to be free with it just use your pen slightly on the thin side if you can do that and just draw your waves just draw them and then after that we're going to blend them out so if you don't like this little wave that you've drawn it's fine because we're blending it out with this hair type i like it to be really blended because all the definition comes in with the actual line art so yeah just have fun with blending it out make it look like a soft fluffy cloud with this line art, you probably can't see the sketch underneath, so just follow all the darkest areas of the hair and don't make your lines stretch all the way to the bottom of the hair. You want to do soft, quick swoops. After the line art, I also decided to add in some more shading on top and just darken some areas up, but you don't have to do that. I just felt like it needed a little extra something. Now, with these highlights, I want you to completely ignore them. Yeah, that's not great for a tutorial, the fact that I did it wrong, but I just went overboard like I always do i highly suggest staying away from highlights when you have curlier wavier hair because generally you're not going to see it as much and if you do want to do highlights don't do the dots do the lines and follow the curves but yeah um, for the rest of these drawings, just try to ignore the highlights that I did because they don't look too good. Okay, moving on to our long curly one. We're doing a different hair color this time and we're not doing a base. We're starting off with the darkest color and we're just going to do tiny little curves. You don't want to attach all of them. You can have some little C shapes. I don't know if you can see that one near the hairline, but yeah, you just want to do that all over and go with the one side first technique so that everything blends since the markers haven't dried out. You want to do your blending in a very circular motion and add your medium color in circles around the darkest parts and then after that you can just fill it all in with the lighter color again as we get curlier it's quite dependent on the line art to define those curls it's quite hard to do with markers so that's why i like to blend it all out and then define with line art it might look pretty messy but again the line art will fix everything and that's why I like to colour first. Okay, um, I really don't know how to describe how I do the line art because at this point I'm literally just following the colouring that I've done. So yeah, I'm just going to assume all this is quite obvious to you as you can just copy what i'm doing on screen because i do not know how to explain things there we go we've almost done all of the different hair types now we're on to the second last curly one again rub it all out first um and for this one i couldn't think of another natural hair color of course there are more variations but i don't have that many pen colors so i went with whitish gray hair and for this you just want to take your darkest color and we're going to use it really thinly and just draw these little bumps everywhere like number threes i think you can see a, th a few threes in gray there and then blend it out what a surprise so yeah for this one we're doing threes as with the other ones we've had more s shapes this is where we bring in our spring shapes which i do by drawing these threes and backwards threes i think that's a pretty good explanation and as i said earlier i wanted to do more definition of curls towards the head but um because i use such a light hair color i had to define it everywhere but generally if i was doing darker hair i would have more curls at the top of the head and make them a bit looser as you go down yes we are onto the last one and in my opinion this one is the easiest it's easier than the straight hair actually because all you have to do is whatever you want so what we're gonna do is just color in with the darkest pen it doesn't even matter what order you do it in this time because we're just gonna be doing some random shapes mostly circular shapes and then we're gonna blend them out because what you want to see is just a variation of depth but other than that you don't need to do all these complicated shapes you just need to blend circularly and then we're gonna define with line art I did, however, decide to grab an even darker pen and add some of those small defined curls, but not that often. Most of it is very just blended. Yeah, 
pretty easy. So yeah, just keep on blending. And again, for the highlights, I don't really know what I did for this one. I just kind of dotted them around. But I think I probably should have just left it. And maybe you should too, unless you have a better technique. Okay, that's actually it for all the sketching and coloring and line arting of these different hair types. I didn't get to do like every hair type ever because obviously all hair's different. But I tried my best to do a variation since I only had six spaces on this page. And yeah, now I'm just coloring in because this is my sketchbook and i want it to look pretty but yeah um i hope you enjoyed this video this is just my style by the way um this is not very realistic at all and i guess sometimes i would do it a little bit more realistically but yeah it's just a simple tutorial for all of you who don't know how to draw hair and sometimes following a reference from real life doesn't help if you want it to be cartoony so yeah i hope this helps and leave a comment remember mention your hair type i think that's pretty cool um yeah let me know if you enjoyed bye help i just realized i have so much footage left um so yeah enjoy this little montage i'm praying that this video actually gets uploaded because it is the longest one i've ever done i'm pretty sure so yeah don't ask me to do something as long as this ever again thank you